One of the unique things about radical mentoring is the fact that you have guys apply to be considered for the group. In church world today, all of Christianity, it's more cheeks in the seats, man. It's how many people can you get to come? Nobody's ever turned away. We just want more, 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 more. Well, that just happens to not match up with what Jesus did. He picked his guys. He selected them. And, and some of them had been rejected by the religious establishment of the day. So having your guys apply says, hey, this is special. There's some degree of exclusivity of being picked to be in your group for this season of time. The other part of the application process uh, is that it helps protect you from making an emotional decision. When a guy applies, you get to read what he's, he said. He, you get to read why he wants to be in the group. You can be objective about it. You can take that before the Lord and pray it through. Let the Spirit instruct you as to whether this guy's motivated for the right reasons, whether he's trying to be super Christian in his church, or whether he truly wants to submit to your authority and to the authority of the, of the Lord as he learns from you and tries to live a more God-centric life. So applying puts him in a position of saying, hey, this is, this is why I want to do what, what, what you're offering me, and then you get to pick. Plus, if somebody doesn't get uh, selected for your group, then you create a little bit of, of uh, pent-up demand for the future. Sometimes a guy will say, hey, is there anybody else who's doing this? And they'll connect with another mentor. Or if you have a friend that you're leading to be a radical mentor yourself, helps uh, them to have a couple of guys who want to be in a group who didn't get selected for yours. It's not a rejection. It's just that these are not the guys that the Lord led you to work with during this specific period of time. Uh, also, I've had guys mu <clears throat> apply multiple times. I've had guys apply and not be selected one year and then have them reapply the next year. And I go back and read their application and things will have changed. Sometimes they will have matured or they'll have a better feel for what they really want out of the group. And so applying a second year and then you select them and man, that's eureka for them. Hey, I didn't make it the first time, but I made it the second time. So having your guys apply is, is kind of a tried and true process. And I, I strongly encourage you to not skip that step.